cut our peplum that is a full circle 360 circle now it's going we are going to add pleats to it and so this is what we are going to do the waist is 32 32 divided by 4 is is going to be 8 and so 8 because i'm going to add pleat to it the 8 i'm going to double it to be another 8 do you get it another 8 then it's going to be 16 so 16 times 4 is going to give us 64 then 64 you divide it by four circle 360 that is 6.28 that is the formula standard 6.28 and you'll get 10.1 but i'll make it 10 and so that is one formula you can do 10 then the length of the peplum is going to be seven plus one making eight that is her top length is 23 23 you divide 16 that is the half length we we did from it and that is going to give us seven plus one inch allowance and that's going to be eight so you mark your 10 here then you will mark your eight also here so 10 here then i'm marking another 10 also here and another 10 also here Okay, so from here I'm going to mark my eight. Then well, this is how to cut your three sixty cycle with pleats. You get it. So this is it. And so you just add the the amount of inches you want to uh, pleat it to it so this is it 360 circle with what um pleats okay so the style that i'm going to sew the front part of the peplum is going to be short and so you are going to reduce one side the skirt the client is going to use to wear the dress is a high waist skirt so it wouldn't be a problem at all and so the eight we are going to reduce it to four inches or five inches and so i'm going to place it here i'm going to place it here and then measure five inches okay so i'm going to take three inches from it so five inches and i'm going to go around Another five, another five, another five also here, another five. Now, at this point, I'm going to extend. Wait, so I'm going to increase it to five and a half. Five and a half. And I'm going to make it six. 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 Then I'm going to go seven. A six point five. Six point five again, and I'm going to go seven. So seven, then seven point five, and then that will be it for all. So this is it. So I'm going to join it. okay so this is it for the style you see 
So I'm going to divide this into two. I'm going to divide it into two. Okay, so I'm going to place this on a lining and cut a lining for it. Okay, with a peplum, what I'm going to do is I'm going to iron the stiff to the lining. I'm going to iron it, attach it to it very well. And then I am also going to add crinoline or horsehair braids to it. Horsehair braids to it. I have a video on how to attach horsehair braids to your peplum. I'll leave the link in the description box so that you watch it as well do also that and come and show it to you guys so this is the peplum up i'm done attaching the lining and the crinoline to it I'm going to work on the peplum and so we will take the pins out from the zip area i'm going to create a notch there and the needle at the middle here at the middle here, I'm going to create a notch there. Okay, so this is the middle of it. Yeah, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it this way. Um, okay, so this is the middle that is going to guide me. I decided to curve the side, the shorter part a bit. I decided to curve it a bit. Mm -hmm. So, this is the middle of it where we created a notch. And so, what I'll do is this one is going to come this way in the middle here. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be like this, okay? Then this one will be on top this way. Hope you see. So, it's going to be like this, okay? So, I'll turn this way. So I'll turn this exactly in the middle where we created a notch and then pin it. Then I'm going to pleat it. The first plate that I'm going to plate is going to be a bit small. Okay, then I'm going to come to the side here, the side here, and plate it, plate it there. And I'm going to place much in. This plate does not have any specific measurement. Just place it the way you want. It doesn't have any strict measurement. Okay, so I'm going to let this come to the zip line here. And then I'm going to pin then I'm going to place it on the dots here. Okay. So this is it. We're going to have it this way. You see? Okay. Then I'm going to bring this one also to exactly the middle part here. And I'm going to go on top of this a little. And I'm going to pin it. Okay. 
and I'm going to pleat this one also okay then I'll come to the side here then pleat on it And I'll take this to the zip line, to the zip line here. And I'm going to plate it on the dots. Okay, so this, I'm going to take a bit from it. So this is it. So at the end of the day, when you turn it, this is it. This is how it's going to be. Hope you see. You see. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to sew it all through. 